So, a very good morning to one and all of you. Today, we have a lot of uh, vaccines available. So, uh, so, we, so we have to choose which is the best vaccine for you and your family. So, which COVID vaccine you should take and what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, each vaccine produced by different uh, uh, companies using different vaccine platforms. So, I'm going to help you with this uh, decision-making process. So we have uh, many vaccine candidates available. So I'm going to discuss about uh, select specific vaccines which are in advanced stages of development and which are almost got emergency approval and which are about to get approved. So each uh, vaccine is a different uh, uh, platform or something like uh, some are based on mRNA technology, some are on protein subunit technologies, uh, some are uh, inactivated vaccines, uh, some are uh, live attenuated vaccines and so on. So right now, first is uh, uh, Pfizer uh, BioNTech and also Moderna vaccine. These both vaccines are based on experimental mRNA technology. This vaccine utilizes mRNA delivered in a lipid nanoparticle to express a full length spike protein. Once administered, the RNA is translated into the target protein, which is intended to elicit an immune response. Till now, no vaccine in the market uses this mRNA technology. These are the first of the kind vaccines using this uh, technology. Oxford AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India vaccine. It is based on adenoviral vector. This vaccine is based on uh, replication incompetent chimpanzee adenovirus vector that expresses the spike protein. It is a time-tested technology. Bharat Biotech's Covaxin. It's a inactivated vaccine that is manufactured in a viral cell platform. Inactivated vaccines are produced by growing SARS-CoV-2 in cell culture and then chemically inactivating the virus. The inactivated virus is often combined with aluminum hydroxide adjuvant in the vaccine to stimulate an immune response. Sputnik Gamalaya Institute, it is based on adenoviral vector. This vaccine is developed in Russia that is based on to replication incompetent adenoviral vectors that express a full length spike protein. This vaccine is given intramuscularly as an initial adenovirus 26 vector dose followed by an adenovirus 5 vector boosting dose 28 days later. CanSino Biologics China vaccine, adenoviral vector based. This vaccine is based on a replication incompetent adenovirus 5 vector that expresses the spike protein. As you can see in the image, three different technologies of different vaccine platforms. The first one is protein based. So, which is used by Novavax in USA and also uh, Sanofi GSK companies. Spike protein is purified injected and immune system produces an antibody. Second is viral vector, which is used by Oxford AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India, uh, CanSino Biologics, uh, the Gamalaya Institute, the Sputnik vaccine. Spike protein gene is purified. It is introduced through a adenoviral vector. So, body produces spike protein. Immune system produces antibodies. The third is mRNA technology, which is used by uh, Pfizer, BioNTech, and also Moderna. mRNA that codes for spike protein is purified and injected. Body produces spike protein, and immune system produces antibodies. So what about the efficacies of this vaccine? The first is Pfizer and BioNTech vaccine. 95% efficacy in phase three trials. The second is Moderna vaccine. It also gave 95% efficacy in phase three trials. The third is Oxford AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India vaccine. The efficacy uh, varies from 70% to 90% in phase three trials. Bharat Biotech's Covaxin, the company has been given uh, uh, the efficacy rates. Uh, it says that it experts efficacy around 60%. Phase three trials are going on. The company hasn't published any data of phase one and phase two trials. A Sputnik vaccine of uh, Gamala Institute Russia, uh, they claimed 92% efficacy. The efficacy of CanSino Biologics China vaccine is not known. So what are the storage temperature? Uh, what are the storage feasibilities of these vaccines? The Pfizer's BioNTech vaccine, they require uh, a minus 70 degrees Celsius for storage. And uh, it creates huge logistical issues. And they require specialized freezers to store this vaccine. Moderna vaccine requires storage at minus 20 degrees Celsius. It is stable up to uh, six months at this temperature. At two to eight degrees Celsius, it is stable up to 30 days. At room temperature, it is stable up to 12 hours. It can be stored in a normal freezer. 
Oxford AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India, two to eight degrees Celsius. So can be stored in a regular refrigerator. So Bharat Biotech's Covaxin, two to eight degrees Celsius. Sputniks of uh, Gamala Institute, Russia, two to eight degrees Celsius. Cancino Biologic China vaccine, two to eight degrees Celsius. So what is the shelf life of this vaccine? The Pfizer and BioNTech vaccine. So once it is out of the deep freeze, the shelf life is just five days. And Moderna vaccine, once it is out of uh, the deep freeze, uh, it can be stored for uh, 30 days. Oxford AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India, six months. Bharat Biotech's Covaxin, two years. Sputnik of Gamala Institute, Russia, six months. Cancer of Biologics, China, six months. So these are the uh, shelf lives uh, which are uh, published in different news sources, but they may change uh, as things evolve and more research uh, goes on. So how many doses you require? Pfizer, BioNTech, two doses. Intramuscular, 21 days apart. Moderna, two doses. Intramuscular, 28 days apart. Oxford AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India, two doses. Intramuscular, 28 days apart. Bharat Covaxin, two doses. Intramuscular, 28 days apart. Uh, Sputnik of Gamala Institute, uh, two doses. Intramuscular, 28 days apart. Cancer Biologic China, single dose intramuscular. As you can see, this is the Pfizer BioNTech uh, vaccine. So day one is the first dose. You'll get the second dose on day 21 you'll get the full immunity only on day 28th after giving the first dose. And this Modernas and also Oxford AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India and remaining vaccines, usually they require two doses, 28 days apart, whereas Pfizer is 21 days apart. So what are the price per dose? I collected this uh, uh, rates on different uh, news sources. They may change while launching these vaccines. So you can take them as something like more of a ballpark figure. The Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, so 1500 rupees per dose, you require two doses. So you'll spend almost 3,000 rupees on that. Moderna vaccine, 2,700 rupees per dose, two doses. Oxford AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India, 500 per dose, two doses. Bharat Biotech's Covaxin, 100 per dose, two doses. Sputnik of Gamala Institute, 500 per dose, two doses. Cancino Biologics China vaccine, 2,000 per dose, single dose. So what about the safety of this vaccine? So what are the safety issues they encountered during the phase three trials? So first is Pfizer and BioNTech vaccine. Systemic adverse effects were dose dependent and more common after the second dose. Severe systemic effects were reported in a small number of participants, younger than 55 years, but not in older participants. Moderna vaccine, local and systemic reactions were common, particularly after the second dose. Severe systemic reactions were reported in three participants who received the highest dose, no major safety concerns were reported. Oxford AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India vaccine, fatigue, headache, and fever were relatively common after this vaccine and were severe in up to 8% of the participants. Larger phase three trials of this vaccine were passed when a trial participant in the United Kingdom developed transverse myelitis, but these trials have been since resumed. No hospitalizations or severe cases were documented in the vaccine groups. However, the rate of these outcomes in the control groups were not reported. Bharat Biotech's Covaxin, still now we don't have any published data. Uh, no other data is released by this company. Sputnik of Gamala Institute, mild and uh, local systemic reactions were common. Cancino Biologics China vaccine, mild to moderate local and systemic uh, reactions. However, both pre-existing immunity to virus 5 vector and older age were associated with low titles of binding and neutralizing antibodies following vaccination. This may limit its utility in locations where pre-existing immunity to these adenovirus vectors were prevalent. This is some of the problems faced by these adenoviral vector-based vaccine platforms. If there is some pre-existing immunity uh, to these adenovirus vectors, so your immune response will be blunted. So which vaccines have got emergency approval till now? Pfizer and Biotech got emergency approval in UK. Moderna vaccine, maybe it get uh, approval shortly. Uh, Oxford, AstraZeneca, and Serum Minister of India, so it may also get this approval uh, very shortly. Bharat Biotech's Covaxin, so we don't know when you'll get uh, its approval. Uh, Sputnik of Gamala Institute got uh, emergency approval in Russia. Cancer Biologics got emergency approval in China. So which vaccine is the best? So which vaccine is the best for you and your family? So which vaccine you should take? It is very difficult to answer. So if you uh, base uh, your answer on the efficacy, so right now we have seen that mRNA vaccines are the best. So like uh, Pfizer vaccine and Moderna vaccine, they are the mRNA 
technology based vaccine they got the best efficacy rates like 94% but till now we haven't uh, used any uh, vaccine which is a mrna technology so we don't know the safety data we don't know the long term safety data so we don't know uh, many things so because we haven't uh, yet used mrna vaccine still now so when you consider cost so you want the uh, cheap and best so which protects you and also which is very uh, light to your pocket so uh, oxford astrazeneca serum institute of india vaccine is uh, is cheaper and also bharat biotech covaxin is also cheaper so it can reach masses they can produce in large doses and is a time tested technology and efficacy is uh, reasonable so the best thing is grab any vaccine that is first available so what's everyone's uh, mind right now is uh, so all i want is just uh, get me out of this mess and i want my family to be out of danger and any one of the vaccines that we are talking till now will get you there i'll be making uh, more medical related videos please uh, subscribe uh, to my channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you'll get notified whenever i make a new video and uh, please drop your comment so what vaccine you'll prefer so out of this vaccine several which vaccine you prefer and why which vaccine you prefer for your family and what are the reasons for that please drop in the comment section i want to uh, i love to hear your experiences and also your expert comments on this thank you